World and World and Syndrome. Okay. Give this go. Oops. Hitting the thing. World. If I could spell World and. Whoa. World and. There it goes. It's two words in Twitch. Alright, check this out. Game sports auto saving, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexual themes, blood language, and violence. Uh oh. Am I gonna get banned? World End Syndrome. New game. Read the brochures you've collected. Characters. Whoa, is this like a... A mystery game? Because I suck at those. Skip mode. Change red color text. Interesting. Wow. Oops, no. What's this map? Mihate? Or is that me hate? Continue. I don't even have a game. What are you talking about? It shouldn't be activated unless you have a game. My Godzilla? To be honest, I would I'd totally be okay being Godzilla. That sounds fun. World End. Uh, that's a lot of French. Is this game in French? It's begun. Yeah, I was right, it's Mihate. This dreadful cursed town. No, 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 I didn't mean to skip it. Good one, at dusk with the signs of an impending rainy season. Hey! Hey, you! Protag. Protag, right here! Don't you have to get up? Oh crap, sorry. I actually like hearing their voices, so I'm gonna let them play out. <clears throat> You're going to Mihate Town, aren't you? Mihate Town? Yeesh, go away, bug. Get up! Mm -hmm. I rub my hands against my sleepy eyes. I feel like I'm still swaying in a dream. I don't even recognize where I am. Hey, if you stayed like that on the train, it would have been a disaster. That voice brings me back. Oh wait, that voice brings me back to reality. Oh, her mouth is animated. You have to change trains at the station if you want to get to Mihate Town. But you were sound asleep. I normally wouldn't meddle in other people's business, but I had to wake you. <laughs> you had this awful frown. She has a snowflake hearing. She grimaces, apparently imitating the way I looked. Uh. Wow, no reaction? Was it fu too funny to laugh at? Should I turn off the voices? I like the voices. No. My heart's been beating extremely fast. Or maybe you feel sick? Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> Crimson. I love that emo. That's adorable. <gasps> it's adorable. 
He looks into my face, and I turn away, reflexively. My heart skips a beat. No, it's not like that. Is this a dating game? You're going to Mihate Town too, huh? Alright. You're going to Mihate Town too, right? You're going there too? Yeah, that's where I'm headed. I saw you were sleeping on a brochure in part of Mihate Town, so... Well, she's very kind. Is she mad? You have nothing to say? Maybe like, what a coincidence, or maybe we should go together. No, nothing. I wish this is how it was like in real life. I... Oh wait, that's my voice. I, uh, uh, well... Oh, I get it. Oh wait. Oh, I get it. Everything's got to be perfect, or nothing makes sense. What? She sits up straight. Oh, I like her name. My name is y Yukino o Otonashi. I write for a magazine. Nice to meet you. Did I just have a heart attack? Ah! Oh, I thought she disappeared. Our magazine has a section called Twilight Travel. We're thinking of doing a feature of Mihate Town. Oh, wait. Wrong voice. Sorry. Mihate Town is a mysterious little place where people still believe in all kinds of myths and legends. Crap! I didn't mean to skip that. Legends? Uh, for example, have you heard of the legend called the one of the legend of the Yombido? That brings misfortune to the town. Legend of the Yomibito. Isn't that Yomi? Yeah, Yomi. Anything with the name with the word Yomi in it is a bad thing. Don't don't play with that. It said that the dead come back to life and slip into the Mihati town every 100 years. And it's supposed to happen this year, according to their schedule. The dead are called Yomibito. And they say that as long as Yomibito exists, misfortune continues with this town. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Yukini Otonashi looks into my eyes. I'm unable to say anything in response. Her smile blurs and splits into two, then overlaps to become one again. That's just a legend, right? You hope it doesn't end up like Donga Rampa? I don't know what that is. Is that an anime? This guy is so confused. Just like he got kidnapped. Oh, guy. Yeah, right. He pretty much did. I, I, maybe I, maybe I'm one of the dead people. Of course, but older generations told stories to pass on important messages. That's why legends are meaningful. Also, the save happens constantly. But since Mihate Town has a lot of these old stories, it's fair to say that generations have had a lot to say. There may be something beyond what we think we know about the world. That's what I want to write about. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? She's adorable. I said I was a writer earlier, but I'm just starting out. This is my first professional writing assignment. I'm really excited about this. People I don't even know are going to read what I put in print. Aww. I have a feeling I'm never going to forget this assignment. I see. Ha! I forgot when I play through the switch, it comes through the speakers of the TV if I don't remute it. Do I get to name myself? I feel like I'm talking too much. I don't know why, but I can't stop myself from talking to you. I got an allure about me. I was born in the ocean. She's probably talking. She, she'd probably talk anyone's ear off, not just mine. So, how about you? Why are you going to Mihati Town? She points at the brochure in my hand. Uh. I, her eyes bear down on me again. Embarrassed. I quickly turn away. I'm transferring to the high school in that town. I'll be living in a relative's mansion there. Oh, heck yeah, I live in a mansion. Living in a mansion? That's unusual. Are you on your own? What about your family? My family? Sorry, is it rude of me to ask seeing how we've just met? You don't seem to have much baggage with you. She sounds like Sakura from Naruto. 
It's a game all of these people got kidnapped and woke up in a school where they were forced to kill each other. Oh, that, that sounds like, um, <laughs> Battle Royale. Is that what it's called? It sounds just like it, actually. And they have mental gates. You can climb around the school so no one can escape. Oh, or metal gates. Gates. That you can't climb around the school. Oh, there's been a lot of movies and shows like that coming out. Uh, oh, I read that one. Uh, I don't like having many things in my room. Your room is usually pretty empty, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. That's not good. Why? Apparently, people who don't keep much in their rooms tend to be disposed towards disappearing. It's like they're ready to leave at any time. Maybe it means they're leaving whenever they're staying. I don't like that. Or they're ready to leave this life. Okay, so the music cut out and did a ding sound. Okay. Please don't be a scary game. Uh. Con conversely, those who fill them with what they are like are full of vitality. Like idols, posters, or family pictures. You. Uh oh. Am I a sea monster? No, please don't be a scary game. Oh, I just got goosebumps. Don't be a scary game. I don't want to push A. Guys, I have goosebumps. Can you see these? My hair is standing on end. Please don't be a scary game. It's a tunnel. Once we're through it, we're, we're finally... Don't be scary. Welcome to Mihate Town. Okay. Can I relax now? I thought she was gonna like pop in. Oh. Uh oh. Please don't be scary. Don't mess with me. Guys, this game is messing with me. Okay, what I was gonna say before the game messed with me was, um, when we went through the tunnel, I thought it was gonna like flash and there was gonna be like a light and she was gonna be like, eee, big demon teeth or something scary or something. And then she followed up with like, we can finally. And then I thought something scary was gonna happen then. And then the opening sequence chilled me out. Okay, by the way, Side note here, that was fantastically done. Developers, that whole like opening sequence, because like I was all stressed out, right? And then at just like seconds after I chilled out and started getting into like, okay, cool, it's the opening sequence. We're going to watch some credits here. That's when it whatever it did and burned out the film thing. And now we're here. Doki Doki Literature Club all over again. Oh, hey. Um, don't spoil any of that. I don't know anything about Doki Doki yet. Um, a lot of my friends, uh, have been asking me to play that. And they actually have told me that it's not just a dating sim. There's more to it, so don't spoil. There's a small square past the ticket gate. The area in front of the station is more open than I expected. A few students and businessmen are coming to the station. I want to speed up the speed of the text. Can I do that? Yeah. Am I her now? This is where my new life starts. Or she's a spirit. Because she looks very glowy right now. I turn around to see Yukino Otonashi standing nearby. Yukino. Wow, you remember my name. That's great. She nods excessively. Well, I need to get going. Oh, wait. Well, I need to get going. Good luck, new kid. 
She pats me on the shoulder and leaves with a bright smile. I place my hand over the spot on my shoulder where she touched me and watch her walk away. I feel like I'm still asleep or just dozing off. I feel strange, like I've been bewitched by a fox. Now that I'm alone, the realization that I've arrived in town starts to fully hit me. Once I've snapped back to reality, I look around the station square. This is where my new life starts. I'm on with the words she said, and a smile comes to my face for some reason. A new life. Whatever. Suddenly, the traffic flow in front of the station suddenly comes to a halt. There was no traffic flow. That ding sound, uh, what movie? There's an anime or something that they use that same ding sound when something happens. Like a spirit thing. Is it Mushishi? It might be Mushishi, but it's also, it's giving me like the uh oh feels. Mushishi doesn't give me that feels. Like, it must be from a different anime or something. I feel someone staring at me intently. Oh, don't. Why is the music scary? A girl is standing under a light post a short distance away. No, there's not! Hi. She stands still as if trying to blend into the dusk, staring at me. I like your eyes, they look... It also looks like she has a snake eye in her hair. Is it actually zooming in on her still? No, it's soft. Her eyes are all technologic. It's like she's accusing me of something. I can't move a muscle. She slowly raises her right hand. Her hand slowly rises to cover half of her expressionless face. Her left eye gleams sharply, capturing my entire body. My breathing becomes shallow. Uh, uh, fuck! Are you fucking kidding me, game? Ah! It wasn't even scary! Ah! Ah! I'm not yelling at you, I got scared. You got a good scared, doggy doggy doggy. Stupid game. I'm so jumpy. A bat flies just past my head, missing me by an inch. I involuntarily, involuntarily cringe. Stop. Oh my god, what? When I look back at that lamppost, the girl's gone, as if she'd never been there. Or had been in a mirage. What the hell was that? Hey, stop licking the butt. Yeah, if she's a vampire, I'm okay with that. Vampires are cool. When I look up at the sky, the stars are already shining above me. Evening falls on the town. Mama! Damn it! It's slow, as if the entire world is winding down. This messed up world. Excuse me. I wish this awful world would end. Careful saying that in a creepy town with creepy girls. Should make it come true. That's an interesting place to put a save. I thought it was going to say end of demo. To the world's end. Also, who took a deep breath into their mic? For good days, yes, they have been good days. Curtain by Agatha Christie. Tips. I take a fork leading away from the... Sazanami Street and arrive at a plateau. I'm pushing the tips button, it's not working. I eventually see a building draped in the darkness of the evening. This is my uncle's mansion. I'm pushing the tips thing. This will be my home from now on. It's a little large for one person to live alone, but I'll get used to it. Miyate Town, I'll be living here on my own in this empty little town. Guys, I think it's a scary game. I hold all the goosebumps! For a moment, a strong breeze brushes by my cheek. I turn away. Oh, that's cool. The sea enters my view. What is that? There's a black dot moving by the lighthouse. Oh, I thought you were looking at the hospital. Also, it keeps, like, is it actually showing me these things in these pictures? I don't feel like they are. When I squint at it, it stops moving. I stare at it for a while, but it doesn't move a bit. I must be tired. I take the key I'd been given out of my pocket. 